President Goodluck Jonathan has promised to ensure the amendment of the Constitution to reflect the independence of the nation's judiciary. At the swearing-in of Justice Dahiru Muzdafa at the presidential villa, President Jonathan declared his support for the reforms in the judicial sector as planned by the new Chief Justice of Nigeria. He also asked the nation's judges to support the planned reforms. The presidential council chamber came alive once again as dignitaries, friends and well-wishers witnessed the swearing-in ceremony of Justice Dahiru Muhammad. I, Justice Dahiru Mustafa, do solemnly swear that I will be faithful. The judiciary has recently been bedeviled by controversies, especially after the suspension of Justice Ayo Salami as the president of the Court of Appeal. The new Chief Justice has vowed to embark on a reform of the sector. President Goodluck Jonathan charged justices across the Federation to support the planned reform. My expectation is that all judges, whatever be their title or rank, will cooperate with the Chief Justice of Nigeria to make his tenure successful in fighting personality clashes and needless acrimony within the judiciary can only serve the unwanted purpose of bringing the entire institution to ridicule. President Jonathan did not just back the planned reform. He promised to make funds available and ensure constitutional amendments to ultimately guarantee the independence of the nation's judiciary. I will personally liaise with the National Assembly to support constitutional amendments necessary to further ensure the independence of the judiciary and improve judicial efficiency. Efforts will also be made to liaise with the state governors to ensure that state judiciaries are also adequately provided for by giving full effect to the provisions of Section 1213 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That as a minister of the government of the Federation... Also I... sworn in is Mr. Dairos Ishaku, the minister from Taraba State. He is a replacement for Dr. Obadiah Ando, who was earlier rejected by the Senate. The swearing-in of Mr. Ishiaku completes the numbers of ministers who constitute the Federal Executive Council.